but in my heart, Brooklyn Nine-Nine has a special place. So first of all, congratulations on your marriage. Thank you. <laughs> so happy it all worked out. I feel like we're a thruple. Like, it's like everyone's together on it. Yes, yes. thruple. Yes. Yeah, a, thru a thruple, a trio. How is like Boyle it. not saying that? <laughs> Said that. <laughs> now, now I am. It's going to happen. Yeah, it's going to happen. Gonna happen. Gonna happen. Yeah. So listen, I, I'm very happy, but there was a moment there where we thought this was the end of an era, and then you got saved. So tell me about that. What went down? Uh, we were let go as yeah. a show by the Fox Network. <laughs> yeah. Um, our hearts were broken then seemingly in the 11th hour. An and upswell of social media support. Sure. Yes. And when I say the 11th hour, I mean like 11 hours later. <laughs> <laughs> NBC decided to pick up the show and give us the season six. Rejoicing yeah. was mm -hmm. abundant. Yes. It was. Because mm -hmm. when I first heard that you were canceled, I thought, oh, Andy's asked for it to be canceled because he's ready to move on to something else. That was my... <laughs> Is that okay? I, I just love that that was what you thought because it that makes me seem really thought. cool. That was my first thought. I was just like, oh, no, he, like, he's ready. The cast is like, they're gonna, he's going to go do something else now. Yeah. But you didn't want it to be canceled. You were upset. I love that you think I have so many great options. <laughs> and he can't stop talking about the Oscar, how he needs that Oscar. Yeah, I'm chasing yeah. that Oscar. He's chasing the Oscar. Yeah. Okay. And so, you know, when, <laughs> well, that's good. Listen, when, when Fox decided not to renew you, were you all like, oh, I'll miss you guys? Like what? And then almost instantly you were picked up. So you're like, I we don't miss you. We had like a full night of being devastated. Oh, One sure. night. Yeah. <laughs> it, was it was a truly, terrible night. It was truly like a 23 hour cycle. Yeah. Of, yeah. Holy crap, I can't believe that just happened. And then, you know, uh, Dan Gore and Dave Miner and Mike Schur yeah. and myself a little were all sort of talking throughout the whole day, being like, where else can we take it? Is there a chance that it could have a second life? Yeah. Um, and then it was looking pretty dire. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of articles coming yeah. out saying, oh, yeah. 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 yeah, there were a lot of Netflix tweets, passed. you know, amongst the cast and people who were watching the show talking about, like, I, it was wonderful while it lasted. Yeah. Yeah. Love you. Everyone loves each other. And, like, it yeah. definitely felt like... The end. Yeah. yeah. But I think that helped convince NBC to pick up the show in, in a way to see the outpouring of love for the show. And what does it mean, you know, to the, have those fans? You're also critically acclaimed. Um, and then to have the executives also be like, hey, there's still life here. I, it was it was wonderful just to get that support, first of all. And then you think that, you know, your, your five years are over and this family that you've kind of created is done. And then suddenly you get like resuscitated. It was, yeah. like, I think Andy said it was really fun. It's like being like watching everyone come to your funeral. You're like, yeah. oh, everyone really loves us and we're back now. You know, yeah. um, it was it was super exhilarating. OK, so now you're on NBC. What's going to change? The bug in the corner? Yes. Like, yeah, the, the lower it. third crowd. The lower yeah. third, yeah. Mm. Same mm -hmm. shenanigans. Like, do we have to change any characters? Anyone getting cut? Andy? Nothing possibly? like that. Oh. They're not cutting me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> not pulling a Corel. Uh, didn't work out for him, all right? Oh. Yeah. Oh. It's a shame. Oh. Poor Steve. Poor guy. Uh, I do know from experience of working at NBC that yeah. we're allowed to do bleeps and blurs now. Okay. So, and I don't know if we're going to seize that opportunity. Yeah. But I'm uh, hoping that we do. I hope so. Yeah. What are you guys voting? Yes to the oh, bleeps yeah. and blurs? Oh, yeah. Well, to go on a curse like brigade, but like he doesn't get it right. He just can't say curse words. Right. Oh, I and love also, this. Also, we I think are allowed to say the names of different products that we weren't allowed to do at Fox. Oh. Sort of little, like, Inside baseball stuff. Yeah. Okay. Right. All right. Okay. Well, I can't mm -hmm. wait to see all those products. <laughs> <laughs> More like referencing them. Right, right, right. Okay. Yeah. Um, like, oh, that hurt worse than getting smacked with a Swiffer. <laughs> You know how many Swiffer jokes we've cut in past seasons? So many. Oh, so many. So many. Um, I'm like, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I have no idea. Um, so Sterling K. Brown got an Emmy nomination for guest starring on the yes. show, which is yeah. so exciting. I feel like Sterling K. Brown gets Emmy nominated just like walk down the street. People are like, wow, <laughs> Sterling, yeah. he's yeah. amazing. Um, why is he so deserving of this nomination? Oh, wow. He's I, just a magnetic dude. Yeah. yeah. And, what were you going to say? Uh, no, I was just going to say that episode was amazing and incredible and, like, totally out, out of the box for what we uh, usually do on the show, and I thought they pulled it off so well, and it was... And I was thinking, like, oh, it must be so crazy to be like, hey, come be a guest on our show, and it's going to be you for the entire episode, and Andy and Andre, and just, like, Sterling just came in and yeah. jumped right in with everybody, and... and I thought that episode he's was also amazing. a super magnetic nice guy yeah. like yeah. even before That's I met right. him before he came on the show and he's just such a, a big personality and he, he kind of listens to you and he's just he's a really nice 
this guy to be around. Just no one ever listens to me. That's, <laughs> that's, so that's sad. why. That, that's why you know. I was like, Sterling, thanks for listening. Made me feel like I was somebody. Was real and not invisible, and he listens to you and stares you in the eye, makes eye contact. It's really nice of him to do. So thank you. You're never gonna know my name. <laughs> oh okay, so now you're on NBC, pretty big, powerful network. Who's on the bucket list? In terms of what? Well, to get as guest stars. Oh. Oh. Now that people know they can get Emmy nominations on your show, right. it's about to be a flock of Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Oh. Nine. Well, we have the obvious one that I think they've been trying to get for a while, which is Mr. Willis. Hmm? Yeah. Bruce Willis. And Bruce yeah. Willis, you must. Because you know. Jake's obsessed with Die Hard. Yeah. Okay, so do you want to, like, we see Bruce all the time. Do you want to give a plea? Like, we'll pass it along? I think you should. Sure. I mean, okay, I know that we've right asked, like, ten camera. times already. Okay. But, <laughs> but, you, but, what, have but you never asked, on E.T. Have you I haven't personally asked. Have you publicly asked. shamed him? Have you publicly I shamed him? I haven't publicly shamed him. Here we go. We should up it, yeah. Okay. Hey, Bruce, look, my character, Jake Peralta, on the show Brooklyn Nine-Nine, which is moderately successful, is obsessed with Die Hard, and he thinks your character, John McClane, is the coolest character maybe in the history of cinema. I, Andy Samberg, I'm a comedian, also feel that way. Uh, if you'd come be on the show, even if it's for like one sentence, just like a cool cameo, like a, we bump into each other on the street, and you go, excuse me, and then walk away. Great. That was a bad impression. Don't take that personally. <laughs> Don't make your decision based on that impression of the one sentence thing I was pitching. Yeah. If you had it in your schedule to just breeze by just for one shot, I think it'd mean a lot. Real quick. Real to the quick. show, to the fan base, to fans of Die Hard who have picked up on how much the show loves the movie. Mm -hmm. That's my pitch. I mean, I thought it was really good. Thanks. And also, you know, okay. listen, we film Entertainment Tonight and Brooklyn Nine-Nine on the CBS Radford lot, which Correct. has excellent iced tea at Carlos Cafe. Oh. So I'm just letting you know that too, Bruce Willis. Okay. Oh yeah. Um, so iced iced tea, iced tea. Iced tea. It has a nice tropical iced tea. We've yeah. had it. Yeah. It's delicious. Very good. Um, okay. So between this, how is life as a daddy? Oh, for me? Yeah. Uh, it's wonderful. Are you so busy? Are you like, were you like, oh no, I almost lost my job. How will I support my child? <laughs> well, according <laughs> to you, I would have been totally fine. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's, it's a busy life. Yeah. I feel very fortunate that my hours in every day are all full. Yeah, but uh, I love I love every second of it. Are you feeling a little bit guilty uh, for you as a child? Because I know that creatives like we tend to be like Wah! when we're kids. So now are you like, damn, it was hard to be a parent? Oh, because I was such a spaz. Yeah. <laughs> Do I feel bad for my parents? Yeah. Yeah. And have you had like that full circle moment where you're like, wow, it was hard? I've definitely had that conversation with my parents where I went, oh, wow, I must have been a real pain in the ass. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, like ellipsis, like there's yeah. going to be a butt, and then they just kind of <laughs> left the room. <laughs> and so, I just think about that. Yeah. 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 Because Anyways, there's goodbye. now so many Brooklyn babies, is yes. there any chance that there's like a Brooklyn babies daycare? And like, why are we not live streaming that? Maybe NBC could arrange that. <laughs> <laughs> There's certainly Brooklyn Baby Playdates. Yes. There is. There is. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Who hosts the best playdate? I've been supposed to host one for about four months now, and it hasn't happened. I mean, it, I didn't want to say it. It's fast approaching. <laughs> Yeah. It's fast approaching. <laughs> is it? I've been doing a little <laughs> yard work, so is it? but it's almost done. Is Caught it? live I on ET. I swear it's happening. We've been invited for a while. <laughs> <laughs> There's work being it's done. Fine. Okay, cool. so between these two gentlemen <laughs> sitting here, if you had to, you know, nominate one of them to be your babysitter moving forward, like who would you trust? You're putting me in yeah. a terrible position. Joe knows 100%. your kid, so you got to say Joe. That, I do have to say Joe. Joe I knows my kid. Our I kids are two weeks child. apart, yeah. so okay. we see each other. Unbelievable! Yeah. It was a yeah. test and you failed. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Well, listen, congratulations. I'm so excited that we are around for more. And that's it. And I'm just going to also mention, since we're live and everyone can see it, I'm ready for my cameo. You know what oh, I mean? Yeah. I'm, done. I'm literally right beside you. Like, I could just walk You could through. just walk across the lot. I could just be doing the news in the background. I could report. You could be in the oh. holding cell. Like, Thank you. Got you. Yes. yes. With, like, a big jug of moonshine, you like, could be, screaming. You could be interviewing <laughs> Bruce Willis on the street. Yes. We walk by. We totally. get both in there. Oh, my God. That's such a good idea. Okay, now I will get on the Bruce Willis train. Yes. I'm making this happen. Done. Yes. Call my people. Have Walls are closing in people. on you, Bruce. <laughs> Walls are closed. You can't escape baby. the nine nine, Bruce. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, come over here. Last okay. thing. This is our really fun little booth, as you can see, like all the cast.